<coughs> well, I was getting set up for my next project. Got all of these out and then realized um, when I went to fill that uh, my the Tom and Jerry diamond painting is round rather than square drills. So we got to put all of these away. <coughs> and it took me forever, it feels, to get it set up to start the next one. Um, and I will show you in just a moment why why I prefer this storage system to what my original one was. Just want to get all these put away. going in the correct order here. I really, you know, I've said this before, but this is by far my my favorite um, storage system. It makes putting things away so much smoother. Uh, Three seventeen. You can see kind of how, just how easily it is to like readjust things, move things around. So I am missing one. <coughs> I had a brief moment. Oh, no. I was say I had a brief moment where I thought I had, had track of them all. So you know, I have to move everything again. I found it. You can see how nicely these stay in numerical order. It's so nice to be able to find things. But I was not wanting to purchase a whole new set of these. I think each one of these boxes, um, it's been a long time. I want to say they were like $24, might have been $34.99. I can't remember. Um, and I didn't want to buy a whole new set um, for my round drills because I don't do a lot of diamond paintings that had round 
the round drills, so I wasn't willing to spend the money to buy their own separate system. Um, but currently, <laughs> now if I did a lot of rounds, I definitely would make the switch over, and this is why. This is currently what my round drills are in. These are tiny little tubes. These hold 200 drills. Those square container or rectangle containers that I have hold 500. So I'm doing a lot less time refilling these um, when I'm doing a square project versus a round. Um, another problem with these is that if you take too many out, you have to keep them in here very snug like this. Because if you take two out, then they start falling over and the whole thing goes cattywampus. Because again, I mean, I'm sure you can tell. <coughs> Excuse me. Because the lid just slips on. Obviously, the top is wider than the bottom. So they eventually start leaning to the side. So if you're not careful, it will totally avalanche the whole section. And it's a pain in the butt to fix. There's also really not a good way to keep them in numerical order. Pardon me, I needed to take a drink. And I'm going to put a cough drop in because my shirt is really <coughs> irritated today. Um, now, it could be a little more organized and make it easier on myself just by having like all the hundreds... 200s, 300s, 400s, you know, and at one point in time they were organized that way, but that kind of has gone at the wayside. But I've got all of those and then I have all of these that are all round drills. Um, and as you can imagine, on in these big long ones, you take too many out and it's going to create a big mess. I really despise having to deal with these when they fall over and have to try to put them back together. It irritates me. Um, <coughs> so, plus side is obviously it takes up less space to have your working drills uh, where you need them. You remember right on the square ones, I literally had like all of these boxes full. Um, this is just to see all of this fits into one. Now I cannot find the tube for number 3834 for whatever reason. Um, and because there's only one of them, I'm not going to worry about creating one. I'm just going to tuck that in there so I'll know it's there. This is all the extra drills for... Um, the project. Some of these were already full, had some spares from previous kits. Um, others not so much. So I'll be, obviously I will be filling, refilling them as I go along. And unfortunately, again, because these only hold 200 at a time, I will be having to stop and refill them much more often. The upside to the round drills, however, is that they actually work up much quicker. So, um, I'm not exactly sure why I've never, never understood why they go faster than the squares, but they just do. Um, but it's a good thing considering I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about doing this one as a, um, as a marathon stream. Um, I don't know that I could do, I don't know how much I'd be able to get done in one sitting, but that's, that's my goal is to sit down and see if I can get it all done in one sitting. And if not, probably not more than two or three. Um, I'm also considering doing it as a, doing it as part of a fundraiser. I've mentioned in previous lives that since I am not uh, currently working, I'm not able to participate in my normal um, support activities in my community. Normally I sponsor a family for Christmas. I can't do that this year because I can't even do my own Christmas, let alone somebody else's. Um, 
And I also am in a, not in a position to do my annual donation to the women's shelter and to the men's shelter. I usually do 250 each um, to the men's shelter and to the women and children's shelter. Again, not going to be able to do that. Um, so I was contemplating doing it just as a fundraiser um, as well, you know, and just while it's live streaming, if people wanted, you know, sent money to the cash app um, once I finished this particular project, um, pull that money and donate it, um, depending on where, where it falls, um, either use it to sponsor a family or donate it, split it half and half and donate it to the shelters. Um, something else I usually do this time of year, which I'm not able to do, um, one of my local diners, um, every year for Thanksgiving and for Christmas, she opens up her, well, she closes the restaurant essentially to paying customers, um, and opens the door for anybody. And she serves a Thanksgiving dinner and she serves Christmas, well, Thanksgiving dinner and, and it's free of charge. Anybody that walks through the door gets a meal and it's not just for local residents. People come from, you know, a couple towns over, you know, come in because this is something that, you know, she's become known for. Um, I think, I think this is her fourth year. Um, and at Christmas, she actually has a Santa, which it's her son, son-in-law, but he dresses up in a Santa suit. She gets a tree. She does, um, gifts, and stockings and so every child that comes for Christmas gets a picture with Santa they get a gift from under the tree and they get a stocking and she does that all out of her own pocket um, and then donations from the community and so usually for Thanksgiving I donate money to help her um, offset the cost of the food and then at Christmas I usually obviously I'll donate toys and money um, and I'm not able to do the, that this year either. And that really, it's frustrating for me. Um, because I know that that's my, it just, it just is. And there's nothing I can do about it. Um, so I don't know. People leave some comments. It would be great. Let me know if that would be something you guys would support. I realize that nobody um, really knows me um, on a personal level to know that um, I'm trustworthy and I'm not going to rip people off. Um, and you just have, but you just have to take my word for it. Unfortunately, uh, but yeah. So this is just kind of sitting on the on here. Um, I'll turn my ring light on to give it some extra warmth and kind of melt it and get it to lay a little flatter. Um, and then moving on to, it's time to put all this project away so that I can move on to, um, working on the journal for today. So, um, don't forget to hit the like. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And uh, again, give me some feedback. Let me know if a fundraiser would be something that um, you would support. If I did this as a, as a marathon stream, start to finish as much, you know, like I said, no more than three marathon sittings um, to get it done. Instead of seeing a little bit each week, actually getting just consistent watching um other than that you guys have a good day and uh happy thanksgiving